Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my 2K21 tutorial number 16. So today I will show you which signature dribble style you need to get this move. You see that crazy speed boost there? That's the one you want. That's the best speed boost in 2K21. So this is simple to do, but the speed boost effects is absolutely devastating. It is essentially, if you get the right angle and right trigger, it's unstoppable. So this dribble style, on top of it all, also comes with a counter to the speed boost move as you saw just right there. So with this style, you can speed boost and trigger contact dunks all at the same time. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please share and like, and make sure to subscribe for more 2K21 tutorials all season. Also, you can check out my all 2K21 tutorials playlist in the description below to stay up to date and to also see more overpowering tutorials. So this extreme speed boost, the dribble style you need is the LeBron James dribble style. And with this equip, it's insane. So here you can see what you want to do is the control mechanics is as such. Have the ball in the hand opposite to the direction you want to go. So I want to go middle here so the ball is in the right hand. So no turbo, flick the right stick to the left. And really after that you're good to go. So it's very simple. But the key is, you gotta be able to see when the ball is just at your player's knee. That's when you hold turbo and push the left stick at the basket. If you time that read correctly, when it's done right, you'll get an insane speed boost out of it. So you can see here, I've done it correctly and that's Kawhi Leonard on Hall of Fame and that speed boost is nonsensical. So the best way to set up this move is to ask for a pick and fade on the wing going baseline. So you can put it in Bucks Freelance and then put it in Pass and Screen Away and then ask for a screen on the wing. But make sure the screener is setting you a fade, not a roll. And make sure he's sending you baseline. This way, the middle is completely wide open for you to go flick the right stick to the left and then read the knee and then purse turbo and hope push the left stick at the basket and that's it. So right there, you can see time and time again, it just cannot be stopped if you're heading to the middle with this. Just make sure you push off with turbo and left stick when the ball reaches just below the player's kneecap. So, however, you can't expect the speed boost to dominate every time, even though it's gonna work a lot of the time. So to perfect this move set, you have to add in the splitter dribble. So that's the counter move. The defender does happen to be able to ride your hip. So what you wanna do is while holding down turbo, quickly flick the right stick down right and immediately back up left. So down right, up left, right away. That will trigger the splitter dribble. And this dribble completely blows by any kind of hip riding contact. So going from the LeBron speed boost into the splitter is OP as you will see here. So as you speed boost dribble past the initial defender, the hedge defender will likely come. So you can hit him with the splitter move. So flick, hold on the turbo, flick the right stick down right, and then up left very quickly, right? It's as fast as possible. Hold turbo, push the left stick at the basket, flicks right stick down right, up left, as quickly as you can, and that will trigger the splitter move, which gives you insane, insane speed boost coming out of any kind of side contact, and it also triggers blow by animations, and it's very easy for contact dumps because of the placement of the defender on your hip. So that's everything together. So that splitter move right there, mm, it's just, it's a contact dunk on Kawhi. So you can see here, I want to go middle, so the ball's in the right hand, I'm going to push the right stick to the left, so now the ball is just below my knee, so I'm going to hold on to the ball, push left stick at basket, that gives me the speed boost. I see the hedge defender, so now I'm going to flick the right stick, hold on to the ball, flick right stick down right, up left, immediately to trigger the splitter, and I'm good to go, I'm going to throw it down. So that's the sequence, and it flows very nicely. So practice makes perfect. This move is best going to the middle because it's much easier to see the placement of the ball on your around your knee area to trigger the speed boost. That's why it's better to go middle. So you can see here, I missed the LeBron you know, speed boost dribble glitch here. A drain weight has on my team has this dribble set. So, but I used the splitter move to counter, right? So you see, I messed up on the speed boosting. So I'm not speed boosting out. I hit the defender on the side side and go down right, up left, right stick, super fast. Down right, up left, hold on the turbo. That gets me the splitter, I beat the hedge, and coming out of that animation, I get a lot of speed, and I can get a lot of contact dunks because of the way uh, the player comes out of it. They're very balanced, and it just lets you trigger a lot of contact dunks if you have enough rating for it. it it's, it's insane. So Paul George obviously he doesn't have the LeBron you know, speed boost dribble, it's not in his package. But I'm just showing you here that uh, splitter dribble can also split the defense if they're helping. 
you can split through it and you always, if you have a good decent slasher with you, you will always get contact downs out of this. Like you can see me do the splitter flick and triggers here and I'll blow by any defender that's on my hip. Sometimes the between the legs doesn't even trigger but I'm doing the same move even with the defender on my hip it will blow by them. So you can even trigger it late. So if the defender makes contact with you and you trigger the, split, uh, the splitter so opposite hand right, down right, up left if the ball is on the uh, left hand down left, up right if the ball is in the uh, left hand, opposite. So you can see here the ball is in the uh, left hand so for me to do the splitter, down right up left and you can see me go right by the defender off of the splitter. Easy blow bys every time. And with slasher takeover that's even more insane. But there is a glitch aspect of this. If the player, if the defender is riding your hit, you hit the splitter, they're gone. And the double fix splitter dribble is also great at sucking in the hedge defense. You can see me do it with Paul George here. I'm doing a down right, up left, immediately holding turbo. I won't lose the ball ever, but I suck in the hedge defender, which opens up the roll completely. And he's in a really bad animation to try to get a steal, so advantage me. Same thing here again. I see the help defense kind of like it's a little bit double team, so I do the splitter so I can't get pinched. I shoot through that gap, make the hedge defender commit, blow by him a little bit so he can recover, then I get the roll again. So really, when both things are combined, especially when you have the LeBron dribble style, you set the pick and fade, pick and roll onto the side, you do the speed boost, a lot of the time, that will be way more than enough. Just make sure you're able to time it so it's right below the knee, between the legs, and then you hold turbo and you push left stick in the basket. Do not hold turbo when you're doing the flick to the left, right? So no turbo here. I'm calling the fade, going baseline. Now push. Separation. Not a lot in this one because the speed boot wasn't full. So now you do the splitter. Hold turbo, down right, up left because the ball was on the left hand. Now you have all of this contact, but it doesn't matter. You have animation advantage coming out of that. You have all the momentum and you get the angle off of the speed boost that is within the splitter dribble itself. So same thing, switch the ball. That's you see that speed boost like that's non that's, that's that's just nonsense. Like look at I come out like of a cannon. Just no kind of lateral quickness can match that forward speed boost. If I have the angle, especially the screen makes them bite on one side. You can see I'm setting the screen with baseline on fade. Boom, it's it's over. And if anyone dares come close, any kind of help defender comes in within my range. I do the splitter, so I'm putting the ball between my legs while I'm sealing off the defender on both sides. So if I do a splitter, there's just nothing they can do. And I will finish with contact, and most of the time I'll finish with contact, though, no less. So try this out for yourself. LeBron dribble style. Get the speed boost thing down. It's very simple. It's just the trigger timing on the ball just below the knee. That's key. The splitter dribble. Just get your fingers working quickly, and you'll be able to go. Remember, left hand will be down right, up left. If the ball's on the right hand, will be down left, up right. All right? Look to for forward to speak to you guys again. Yo soon.